In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a complex user interface that doesn't fit into the main view and needs to scroll. I'm going to use a UI scroll view and I'm going to use uh, visual tools only. It might sound very uh, straightforward, um, but it's actually not. And there are a couple of uh, tricks that we need to do to make it uh, work. So let's assume we need to create um, a user uh, registration form that has many fields and all those fields do not view and uh, do not fit into the single view so i'm going to create application single view application and i will call it uh, my ui scroll view example Okay, I have an empty project created, um, but it's, it was not necessarily, you can actually use your existing project. Um, so um, I have a view controller uh, created by Xcode, I will reuse it. And the first thing that I will do, I'll go and set size to iPhone 4. Okay, so let me create um, some user interface uh, with many, many fields. I'll use text field. And I will copy and paste. And I'll actually copy all four of them and paste. And even more. Okay, so now we have fields that do not fit. So what I can do, I can open this uh, panel that shows me uh, my document structure and I can select all of these fields and I can embed them uh, into a scroll view. So I'll select all of them, go to editor, embed and embed into a scroll view. But it did not help. I still do not see them. It doesn't scroll. So uh, what can I do? Well, uh, first of all, I need uh, some more space in my view controller uh, so that I can position, um, I can complete my uh, registration form. So I'll select um, view controller and I'll go uh, here into uh, my view controller simulated metrics and I will change it from fixed to a free form. Here we go. So the height of this um, view is 568 so I'll change that to something like 700 for example and see yes I have some more space so now I can um, complete it what I will do since all of these fields are now into uh, are added on the scroll view I'll select scroll view and I'll resize it all the way down here so now I have more space and I'll put something like a button to complete it okay so now let, let me run it and see if it works. iPhone 6 started, so everything fits very well. Let me select um, another device. So I'll stop this one and I will choose iPhone 5 and run it. Aha, uh -huh. on iPhone 5 it doesn't fit. Let me try and see if it scrolls and it doesn't scroll. So this is what I mean. It might sound pretty straightforward, but it, it's not always so. So what I can do? Well, uh, in this case, it's, um, it's very simple. I will select scroll view and all I can do here is um, I can select um, this little button that helps me to control my um, uh, constraints, go all the way here to reset to suggested constraints and select these options. Reset to suggested constraints. Uh, Xcode will do some magic and um, I will run it again and see if it helped. Yay! Now I can scroll. It worked. Uh, okay, um, another thing is that uh, sometimes we need uh, our uh, UI elements to be on um, another view. So what if I select all of these um, elements and I will embed them into another view. Product, uh, editor, embed in a view. 
right? So my uh, scroll view has another view on it and it has elements. So now if I run it again, it doesn't scroll anymore, it breaks. So what I can do here is I can, um, first of all, select this view and make it, I need to make it um, um, like, I need to make it stretch all the ways, um, but uh, not, I don't I don't need uh, the bottom one and I need uh, width and height and a lot of these constraints now something went wrong uh, let me see okay now our scroll view has ambiguous scrollable content height okay so I'll go here select my scroll view and I will simply reset it to suggested constraints again now everything is fine I'll run it again. And it works again. So let me see if I can edit this uh, user interface and add some more elements. Like first thing that I want to do, I want to um because my uh, all of these fields now are embedded into the view, I want to select this view and I want to clear constraints on that view so it can work with it. I will clear all constraints and let me uh, for example change it a little bit. I will select this couple of views and I will add um, image. I will add image for example and uh, something slider. I'll add image and slider and I'll add something more. I'll let me get rid of this four, and I'll add another image. Oh, th this is this is just an example uh, user interface I'm creating. But uh, your user interface, of, of course, can be different, can be more complex or simpler. Um, so now we have edited this user interface, and um, um, let me run and see if it works. Okay, so my application started, and I don't see anything. It's not working. So uh, what I will do, I will now select my um, um, view that I have just edited and I will reset it to suggested constraints. It fixes our problems and let's see if it works now. Okay, so I have image view, which doesn't have image because I didn't set anything there. And I have image view here and it scrolls. This is it. And I hope that um, this video gave you an idea on uh, how you can build lengthy user interfaces uh, that uh, scroll. Um, of course, this approach cannot be used for building user interfaces that are dynamically constructed. And actually, uh, speaking about um, user interfaces that need to be built dynamically and scroll, I'm going to explain it um, in my uh, next video. So uh, stay tuned.